Well, again, good morning, and thank you for joining us this beautiful Wednesday morning. Mark Contra with the Messer Financial Group. Today, what we're going to do is work within the parameters of actually our website uh, so that you can become a little bit more familiar with the tools that are available to you there, uh, especially if you haven't had the opportunity to use those in the past. I'm going to try to stay focused perhaps today on the life insurance side, uh, both the traditional business and the uh, final expense. You might make a note if you haven't received an email already, uh, there is another webinar tomorrow morning and they're going to go over some more of the tools uh, specifically designed towards your under 65 and over 65 business at this particular time of the year. Uh, again, thank you for taking the time away from your schedule. I know everyone is getting swamped at this point with opportunities for their work. Uh, you're already in the throes of your over 65 business and your Medicare Advantage plans and drug plans and you should also be getting uh, boned up for your business on the under 65 ACA. Uh, so again, tomorrow, uh, the Messer Group will do a webinar uh, to focus on our cloud program, which is your access so that you can actually work with your clients on the ACA, keep track of them in your own book, be turned over from that point to the marketplace, complete the business on the marketplace, come back to your website, and actually go through the process of taking care of the payments. So if you haven't taken advantage of that software, I really suggest you take a look at tomorrow's webinar and make a decision on whether you want to become involved with that. Also, they're going to go over the tool, which I'll basically touch on today as we go into the quoting software. We've got a great tool for quoting your Medicare Advantage and your Medicare Supplement plans. Uh, in the past, I've always had to turn over either to the state, in this case I'm in North Carolina, and I would look up my Medicare plans available through the state, or I would go over to the WISE website, uh, WISE Marketing Organization, and that would allow me to look up plans in other states. So we've kind of made it a lot easier for you by having a place for you to go and do that. So let's start this morning again. Uh, if you have the opportunity, if you're at your desk and you can get online, please join us at the www.messerfinancial.com website. Once you're on that website, uh, you'll see the first thing again, what you're looking at today is our homepage, a little fun advertisement for our E&O, make sure that it's not scary, make sure that it's not haunting. Also in this peeling page here, you'll see the little arrows right and left. If there's a specific process that you'd like to get more involved with, you'll just be able to click on over, find that information. Uh, the webinars that we've done in the past as an example, you might go here. I'll also show you how to access it directly but so you can look at and view any of the programs we have done in the past, which will include, of course, today's program, as well as if your schedule does not allow, you could go ahead and watch tomorrow's program later tomorrow evening or over the weekend, whatever might be the case. Here's a little spiff on one of our carriers, the Surebridge Group, and some of the plans that they have available. Always looking for that disability opportunity. Knowing that you can have a lot of different opportunities in this industry. And back to where we were. So, again, at the very top of the Messer Financial Group, you've got the banner in red and the homepage that we're currently at. You want to know a little bit more about us, simple click here. That'll take you over to the area that will tell you about the business, our location, who we are, what we do. Always, again, you can go back any time to that home page and work on some other aspects of your information. 
Here's our product lines, as you'll see in the Dropbox. You've got the opportunity to look up our carriers and also to do the contracting to those carriers. We're going to talk a little bit about that momentarily. Annuity business, critical illness, dental plans, final expense, gap plans, group insurance. That one breaks out into a, another section. The health insurance, obviously the ASA marketplace, and again, you'll get a little more information on that tomorrow if you want to join the webinar on the cloud. Of course, the life business, both Medicare Advantage and Medicare Supplement, and the opportunity to do some P&C work with us as well. Over here onto the next tablet, you'll see the agent resources where if you want to get business cards with us, you can. Any of the incentive offers that we have available through the carriers, so they're there for you to see. If you're searching for commission information that's been due or payable to you, here's your access point. If you're looking to find the status of a contract that you've already applied for to see what where it's at, again, the E&O that we're advertising here, you can hit that website and you can actually process an E&O. On the E&O, when you do it online, um, if you use a credit card, you'll actually be able to have that E and O insurance in place immediately. You'll be able to download the PDF or make a copy uh, for your own records, or also to add it back in to the contracting information so that it's on site. Uh, different types of lead resources we have. Once again, the webinar are held here in the Messer Learning Center. May as well take an advantage here of the time. Let's just take a quick blink on it. Left click. Here you'll see the Learning Center itself. Some topics are already aligned, so they're outlined so that there'll be webinars that have been dropped into these files. But if you just want to look at the most recent ones, and as it shows you, these have been uploaded in the last 90 days. This is where today's webinar and tomorrow's webinar will be before the end of the month. As you know, just last week we did a webinar with Banner. So there's that Wednesday meeting. Here's the benchmark meeting previous, the Mutual of Omaha meeting. So again, any of the webinars that we've done, this is just a chronological order for Wednesday that have taken place. Again, if we'll go back to that agent resources tab, the new agents, online contracting, let's take a quick look at that. Um, simply click on the online contracting If you've never done it before, the first time you're going to have to get in there and get started, okay, um, and get registered. It's, it's a real nice, easy process, though, when you do get started with it. Uh, once you've done it, it's going to make your life so much easier on any other contracts that you need to apply for, rather than going through that old-fashioned world of paper contracting. It's going to let you do one. And then next time when you come back to do another one, it's going to pre-populate a lot of the information that you've already placed in, and it'll just take you to sections that are a little different. Um, seems to be a little slow today, so I'm just going to get out of there, come back to the page. If you ever need assistance with any of this, you can call into our agent services, and they'll be glad to sit there again uh, and help you. If you, when you do become registered, you'll be here. Click here to log in as a registered participant. Again, this might be a little slow this morning, so uh, it's, it's opening up. Okay. So there it's got, you know, my particular access point. It would require my password. It would take me in there at this point so that I can choose to download another contract that I may have or may need to add to my portfolio. So let me just give you a quick little example. Well, I guess I didn't <laughs> put in the right one. Yeah, that's all right. Try again. Still didn't get the right one. Well, we'll skip that then since I'm not able to log into my own 
site here. Let me just make sure here. Uh, insurance Bay. Oh, I see. I changed it. Okay. We'll give it one more shot here. <laughs> I guess I need to change it again. All right. So let's just close this one off here. Let's go back on the top here. Uh, quoting tools, this is where it is here, but I'm also going to show you how on the home page it's more easily accessible to you. Information on the ACA and the enrollment portal. Again, that's the cloud that's going to be uh, explained in detail tomorrow for you and how to do the ACA enrollment. Contact information here at Messer. Any career opportunities. So again, if we just go back simply to the home page, I could have used that agent resources quote toolbox, but I'm going to take it back to where, again, if you just signed in this morning and you get on the home page and you scroll down, you could also hit contract now and that'll take you right to that contracting website. Or in this case, what we're going to look at today is under the quick links, here's our quote engine. Again, the same commissions inquiry that we had in the agent resources tab, carrier index. So there's a lot of duplication in here uh, or different ways to get to certain things that you need. And again, today we're going to look at this quote engine tool. Simple left click on the words quote engine. Okay, so. Again, all the different opportunities that you have to be appointed to and licensed with Messer to begin with your health insurance, to work with your ACA business, and again, to work with the cloud software. It's going to make it a lot easier for you. Uh, really is great. It keeps track of your clients, all the basic information you need. You can always reference back. makes it a lot easier, too, when you're tracking and looking for information on commissions when you have a question that perhaps you didn't get paid properly on one of those cases. It's a place where you can go back and find that case. Uh, so you have the right detail of information to supply to our commission inquiry report and make it possible for you to get those dollars that you're entitled to. Again, tomorrow they're going to work on the Medicare supplement, Medicare Advantage. Also the ancillary type of products that we have available, whether it be gap type of plans with hospital indemnity or dental or perhaps vision. Uh, just to give you a quick little oversight, again, a little left click on the words Medicare supplement, etc., and that's going to give us an opening here. And again, the first time you go in there, you will register. Uh, Nothing fancy, just that you need to register to have the opportunity to work with it. Fortunately, this one has my password populated, so I'm going to be able to get us in there <laughs> as we hadn't before. So let's say we wanted to run a quote on some of the different hospital indemnity programs we have. We would just simply click on the run quote. Same thing for the dental. I've really found this new tool with the Medicare Advantage to be instrumental uh, and beneficial to me as I'm working with my clients. Uh, I'm going to open it up for you, but again, they're going to do it in detail tomorrow. So as you know, when you're working with the Medicare Advantage plan, it's going to be uh, area sensitive, so you'll only add need to add the zip code. It will bring up automatically the necessity if there are more than one counties, as in this case it shows there's two counties here. So you would uncheck the ones that are not effective, leave the one check that is. Just that simple, we're already going to look at the 2017 plans. They're going to sort them by price. That's it. If you want to put a label on it and type your client's name in here for future reference, you could. But again, it's just this simple. Bang, bang. So here they are. All the MA plans available in that particular zip code in that particular county in North Carolina, showing them again priced 
by zero premiums, of course, offered through the major carriers, showing whether they're PPO plans, HMO plans. You can further drill down on these plans to see what they are. Again, I don't want to get into the show that's due tomorrow. You'll be able to use the area at the top you see here to the left, compare quotes by simply putting a check mark in on the ones that you're choosing. Uh, right here, as you can see at the bottom, I happen to be all the way down to the Blue Cross one I'm looking at. There's a little check box. If I check that, that's going to move it into the compared area. Again, I think I'm getting into somebody else's work, so let's get out of that one. But again, you can see the simplicity of it. It's just, it's wonderful because it brings it all to you. Does the same thing with your Medicare supplements. Once you put in the zip code, no matter what state you're in, it's going to give you the plans that are available in that state. Uh, the CAP tool is a tool that we've had available. It's really designed for someone who's getting started in the business, really has very little understanding of what the life insurance business is. Uh, all they know is they've got a client that wants some insurance and they need some help. So that's kind of the little tool that's there and that comes directly back here so that one of us can get on it and assist the agent. I think the people that I can see on the webinar this morning though are a little bit more involved in the business and don't need that kind of a tool. So again, it's there for, your, for someone, especially if you're hiring someone new, let's say, um, and you don't have the particular moment of time to work with that new hire, you've got a tool out there to help them get started, and then you can come back and work through the information that we'll provide. Again, as we scroll down, we've got our life quote, we've got our final expense quote, our annuity quote. We had to put the SBLI application over here uh, to access for their drop ticket platform. Then there's a place for you to go for the forms engine. This is really also a great tool because this tool is going to let you get a specific form you need from a specific carrier or a complete application that you can either download or PDF to yourself or perhaps even to a client. But the nice thing is if you just happen to have a case that's working and somehow when you did the app you forgot to put in, let's say, the replacement notice, you would be able to go to this forms engine section. Since I'm talking about it, let me just go ahead and do it. And you would say, okay, I've got this application. I just started with American General. See the difference here also, American General, all states except New York. That's a different program entirely with their business. So we'll take this one. It's going to be for new business forms. And for just because we're here, we'll just say it's for the state of Alabama. It's a term life product that we had placed in. Which is their select a term and all we do now is it says PDF is just look up. So what it brings up first of all is a highlighted area in yellow with the red dots which is a complete application. But let's say we don't need that. We just happen to need as I mentioned this notice regarding replacement that we missed. So we'll go ahead and we'll unclick all these that are red, turn it them to green so the red is the one that has moved over into the package box. There you can either open it up for print and print one if you're sitting there with your client or you can open it up as an email, send it back to your client, send it to yourself, whatever you're doing uh, to get it completed. So again it's just a wonderful tool. Say you wanted to do another one for a different company, you needed something else. We just did a program with Banner, so we'll give them a little exposure. Again, new business. State, we'll keep it simple here in Alabama. Again, we'll work with their term product. Both are here, the app assist form, which is if you attended the webinar last week, you would have learned about the app assist and how that facet of working 
will allow you to quicken the process of your business, pretty much turn over a majority of the work back to the carrier, uh, take it out of your hands so you can go on. Or again, if we just needed to get some form on a life product that we had worked up, again, we had missed something, again, it's going to give us everything in yellow that we need to have upon a first application. And let's say in this case, again, we forgot to get the HIPAA document signed. So again, we're going to uncheck anything that's not applicable for our particular program. Here it is, the release of health. Again, if I would have just clicked here on the print, it's going to show up as a print item for me. There's the document. You can actually see in this case it's a pre-fillable. Okay, so you could pound it out right here. Again, let's say that that wasn't the case, so I wanted to email it to my client. So you just go ahead and you put your client's email address in here. You put your own return address that would show up on the email that shoots out to them. I would always suggest you click the box copy me, which means an email is going to be sent to you showing this document that you forwarded to your client. If you want to do a quick little note in here, hey, John, here's that document I talked to you about on the phone. Please sign it and send it back to me. Bang, hit send. It's on its way. Simplify your work. Simplify your life. Okay. So, again, that was under your forms. You can order an exam right here if you've never used it before again a nice helpful tool when you do a life case and you're ordering the exam yourself depending upon our time we might be able to get through a couple of more of these but let's let's go right now today over to the life quote again simply left click one time on life quote now this tool is primarily designed to assist you in quoting term cases. Any products that are interest sensitive, which will be your permanent products, whether they be universal life or whole life products, you can't use a tool of this nature with the exception, and I'll show you that as well, on the guaranteed UL products. So. That's the only product that you can quote on this term on this quoting tool that is not a term product. And as I've mentioned before, perhaps if I've done a webinar with you or done some training with you on universal life business, a guaranteed universal life is really nothing more than a glorified non-expiring term product. That's really the best way to look at it. But anyway, let's let's go ahead today. And we've got our client. We're going to put in their date of birth. Please always attain your client's date of birth. Um, I often get calls from agents that want me to help them and get them a quote, and they give me the client's age. Uh, that's not good. You've got to give me that date of birth exactly because, as it showed up right here, this client on its last, his last age, or hers, was 36, but her age nearest now is 37. She's past that six-month window. She's approaching this birthday. So many of the carriers are going to quote and rate based on the age nearest. There are ways that you can save age come back to this age that they're currently at. Don't want to make a lot of confusion, but in some cases when you do save age, it's an expensive proposition for your client who finds themselves having to back pay premium to meet that timeline in order to be saved of age. And it's I've never seen it worth it, in all honesty, to pay that extra amount of money to lower the monthly premium or annual premium by a few dollars because of the age. Even though 
Sometimes ratings and pricing are age banded. So there could be a difference between a 40 and a 41 year old. Uh, but in most cases, again, when you're saving age, it's not in the best interest. There are carriers, however, I will put in the caveat that will allow you to do a save age and not force the penalty of paying the additional premiums to back pay to save age. So let's work with a female today, 37. And again, mine's pre-populated obviously to North Carolina. But I have no people here on the line as well from Florida, from South Carolina, from Georgia. Let's do a little Florida. Okay. And Mama is a single parent. She wants to make sure that she's got some immediate coverage. God forbid something should happen to her for the two children. So she's going to look at a, a million dollar policy. There is a needs type of analysis here that you can take advantage of or not. A lot of the agents don't realize it's here. It'll help you work through a calculation uh, based on a lot of the information that you'll place in here. It looks like, again, my system might be running a little bit slow with everything else I've got going on here today. So let's see if I can get out of that. Oh, there it is. Okay. I was just about to get out. So as you can see on this particular program here, this is for an age analysis, and you've got a lot of information you're going to need to gather. Purpose of it, potential, to come to a point where it will recommend a type of coverage. Okay, we're going to skip this step and go back to our screen. But again, it's a nice handy tool that a lot of people don't know is there. And I have, I just recently had a call from an agent and he wanted me to send him a, a needs analysis form uh, to work with a client in the home. And I do have those things available. Of course, I was able to supply that to him. But if you do need it, quick haste, there it is. Okay, so will the payment be monthly? Will it be quarterly, annually, semi-annually? We'll just stick with the traditional monthly. We're going to leave the box that's already, or the bullet that's already marked into the guaranteed, non-guaranteed type of term. We're not going for a simplified issue at this point. What length of time? Don't ever click this all length of time because what it's going to do is it's going to give you quotes from all the carriers with all these years, I can't even imagine how many pages it would be. So don't go there. I would also not confuse myself if you have a client that you want to quote a 20 and a 30 year term, I would do them separately. So we've got a 37 year old female. We can take her out 20 years, she'll be 57. Uh, probably not a bad protection window for her. You could go all the way out again to 30 based on that age and take her to retirement. You could also look at it and say, okay, she told you that she just got a mortgage and it's for 28 years. Well, some carriers will help her that way and she could do a 28 year. One specifically comes to mind, that's American General. But let's just do the basic 20 year term. For your carrier product, I'm going to leave the bullet in all carriers and products, but I'm going to show you the tool. Let's just say that you're appointed only with American General. So you would come and find the American General, accept New York, select a term right here. You would highlight it. You would add it. Put it into the Dropbox here. And let's say you're also appointed with a surety. Couldn't do a non-med because its face amount is too high. 
So we'll just take the traditional 350 without return a premium. That's also in here if you would like it. We're going to add that one. And let's see, Banner Life just did a presentation, so let's give them a window. In fact, I've also done a nice presentation recently, so let's give them a little shot here. Their product, as you'll see it here, you don't see term written anywhere. They're using that chassis of a UL on their term products. has to do with the amount of monies that are put aside to protect the interest of the policy. So let's just use the advantage choice or you can use the custom choice. They're very similar. I'm going to add that. All right, so in this case we've gone ahead and we've selected just four carriers that we happen to be appointed with. We don't want to confuse ourselves or go through the process of having to get a new contract. We got a hot client. We just want to get it done. So I'm going to hit done here. So what that's done is it's put it into the system. You can't see it at this point. We'll come over here to Riders in the next column. We can add, if we wanted to, the accidental death benefit, waiver a premium, return a premium. If they have a child that they're adding to the Riders, you see the units here, zero. Units open up in increments of numbers representing 1,000, so 10,000 would be a $10,000 plan. And we did say we got a female client here with a couple of kids. Uh, let's just see if we can give her, get her some $25,000 worth of life insurance on those kids with these selected carriers. We're going to say that she's in pretty good health, so we're not going to do any table writing here. Flat extras, that's getting into kind of particulars that you would have to have knowledge of. Uh, for instance, if somebody is applying for insurance and they had a DWI a couple years ago, they're going to get the opportunity to apply, but the carrier is going to say that there's some additional risk there that they <clears throat> would probably like to avoid, and they're probably going to spin that off. And the way that's done is they charge a flat extra per thousand over so many years, uh, but you won't know that until you actually uh, make application and have it go through the underwriting process and it'll come back with a quote and then you may have to make some adjustments because the price is going to change based on that extra that might not have fit the original budget of what you were working towards. That's when you would use that. Um, not to get too complicated, but again, if you do need some assistance when you run into that situation, don't hesitate to give us a call. So we'll skip it today. Here is where you do a little bit of advanced underwriting. Of course, if you've got a tobacco user, we want to go over here and select. There's only two options with tobacco, standard or preferred. Now, you could do standard, and you could table rate because you've got a smoker that's also diabetic. So we would hit the standard smoker. We would come up to the table ratings, we would open it up, and we would pick, in this case, I would use a B because that's the only thing we have going on. And there's a little bit of pre-underwriting there. Let's say, though, that this young lady is uh, in pretty good health, uh, pretty good height to weight. That's another important element you need to know. It's not really here. Um, the x-ray plan that's here is designed to try to help you enter health profile information. Um, but in all honesty, since they were purchased by the IGO, and that's who is running this, IGO pipeline, you can see it down here in the connection information, I pipeline. I, I don't have a lot of faith in that particular tool anymore. Uh, I think they bought it just to get it out of the way more than anything else. Could be wrong, but that's my gut feeling. So I stopped using it, and I still go back to my handbooks. 
Okay, so we've got non-tobacco female. She's better than standard. Again, though, with caution, I always say never go out and quote your client's preferred best. You don't really know as good a health as they may be in if they have had experience with family members, parents, siblings, with some serious health issues that might be detrimental to the rating that they attain themselves. So I never, ever, ever quote preferred best. If it comes back preferred best, great. All I'm going to have is a premium that's going to be lower than I brought to the table to begin with. So I'm going to have a good. Same thing with the preferred. I try to stay away from it. So in this case with this woman, I might, based on the information I had gathered, say she's a little better than standard. So let me go ahead and give her a standard plus. Now, I've simply plugged in all the information I need or the minimum amount I need to view the quotes. So right down here in the bottom, I'm going to click View All Quotes. And what happened here, remember we had four carriers we selected. The only one that came up, in this case, and it's a return of premium, I don't know how I got that, uh, is an AIG product. I can tell you the reason that it came up in the only one is that over here we had requested a child rider for 25000 So what this basically just told me was that the other carriers that I had hoped to get quotes from don't add that child rider up to that amount. So what we want to do here is right here, edit quote details, Simply click on it. It's going to bring me back to my tool. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to reduce this down to just a $10,000 rider. And again, I don't know why I got the return of premium because I didn't click it. I just wanted to double check myself. I'm going to hit view all quotes. Well, all it did here was bring me down to banner added on because they will do a child rider up to 10,000. And again, the huge difference that you're looking at here, because I think you probably fell out of your chair. If not, you're not paying attention to me. Five times as much for this product because of this return of premium. Return of premium has pretty much priced itself out. But again, let's go back and let's re-edit this. Now let's do a couple of things differently. First of all, I'm going to go back to this window that I had populated with carriers. I'm going to open it up. And I've added these. So I want to go ahead now. I'm going to remove all these. Okay, and what I've decided to do is I want to get the best quote possible for my client. Even if I have to get a new contract with a carrier I'm not familiar with, I'm just going to go ahead and do that. Let's just see what happens when I leave the 10,000 in there. But I just changed it. I hope you caught that. The screen popped. I got out of the custom carrier quote, and I went with an all carrier product quote. Leave that 10,000 in for the children. And once again, we're going to hit View All Quotes. Doing a little more thinking, so that's a positive sign that we're going to get a few more quotes. And we did, starting with the lowest quote. And you can see now we're dealing with pennies from $70 here. All of these are in the $70 range. Oh, my goodness, and it went up two whole bucks. Anyway. You get my point. Um, you've got plenty of carriers to choose from. If you're already appointed with this American General product, this time it quoted it for me without the return of premium. So there you could see uh, $70.41. If we knew, as we do, that American General will offer 25000 for that child, you might go back and edit this quote narrow it back down again to just American General and add on that additional 15000 We're quoting 10 of it here. But go ahead and 
upgrade it to the 25 that she wanted or you wanted to sell you thought was beneficial. Okay, so starting with the principal group, and I'm going to be totally honest with you, we do very little business with principal. So if you want to be one of the pioneers and bring us a principal application, all power to you because you saved another 20, 26 cents, 28 cents here for your client versus doing the Transamerica or the American General. So you're looking at two Transamerica. One is just, there it is, trendsetter, super, no highlights, same price as this one. The difference is this one is Trans, Trans America Family Markets, which is the carrier that we are with. So I don't know why we're getting this here because we shouldn't really populate this and confuse you, but this is the Transamerica. As an example, if you've been in the business a long time, you may have heard of Occidental. Uh, Occidental products are going to fall under this particular. We don't handle the Occidental. We handle the family market, so that's our selective choice. You can see you can either click here simply this is a wonderful little tool. Remember that form menu we went through, that form engine? Well, here it is, just specifically for this carrier. Again, your print or your email, all the documents you need. Old school. EF. So you want to cut back on the work process for you, turn a little bit more over to the carrier. This is what you're going to use, your electronic application process. Now to do this, the very first time you go in here, you're going to have to sign up for an account. Once you're in that account, it's going to be saved for you. So I would be able to, again, now log in. This has taken me over to my application process. Where well, I would begin the application right here. Get some basic information. It's going to take you through some steps. But again, this would be your e app process. Here's your American General. Little difference in terminology, the drop ticket. If you look down a little further, you'll see Mutual of Omaha offers both the EAP and the drop ticket. The nice thing about the system, though, is again, and I don't know why it did that, shouldn't have should have just allowed me to go right back. So there it is again asking for my user ID and password. I'm not going to pull that back out right now. But it, it, it's really the same thing on a different platform. Okay? So don't get confused by it. If you have the banner product you want to sell, then you'll use their drop ticket. You'll note that SBLI does not have an electronic application process. Actually, they do. I'll take that back. Uh, if you remember when we were looking at the tools, let's see here. Let me, let me go back to the home. And again, back to the quote engines. All the way down here, here's the SBLI electronic drop ticket platform. Why is it not on the other one? Because they don't have a contract agreement with iPipeline. So iPipeline won't put it on there for you to access. But if you're an SBLI uh, lover and you want to use their product, you know, again, you can just go right over here.
and get it. So let's go back to where I was on that life quote. Also, you'll see, even though I stepped away, uh, it saved the information for me. So again, we, just we determined that we really liked the idea of the increase of the child benefits, so we're going to use that American General. Um, and it must have been my fault before. I must have clicked on the wrong one up again. So oh, select the term. That's what I want. I'm going to add it. I'm going to come back and I'm going to get my 25,000 that I know they'll do. I'll leave everything else the same. I'll view my quote. And there it is. Okay, so now we have that American General term product. With the child rider increased, as you can see, to 25,000. Also, if you note in the small print here, the space policy is 6609. So if for some reason your client said, no, I don't want to add that little rider, I want to get separate policies on my children, fine. This premium would drop down to 6609 when you drop that rider. Pretty smooth. Okay. Now, what I would want to do, if you have more quotes to do, or, well, let's do this. Let's say that before I had three that I liked, I could have checkmarked them, and I could have got a printout of all three of them, kind of a side-by-side -side comparison. I could have emailed that printout uh, to my client direct. I wouldn't email them all the choices. If you're going to do an email selective type of selling over the phone, uh, perhaps because they're in another state. I would narrow it down to the one company. I wouldn't try to do the comparison of different companies. But if I want to go ahead now and start a whole new quote, I want to come back to my edit page, and I want to just click right down here on Start Over, and I get a clean sheet, and I can go back to my quoting. Now, also, what I'd like to do on the quote engine here, since we did a life case, this is really a handy tool uh, with your final expense market. Got time today to work a little bit more here. So, I think we did South Carolina before we did Florida. So, let's do a South Carolina, which is a good choice because they there's some limitations sometimes in carriers in the different states. And what we want to do, of course, is we're working with someone that's a little older. They didn't do, in my opinion, real good planning, so they don't have the insurance as they've aged up. But they've decided they want to do something and have some insurance. They've been seeing those funky ads on TV about getting some insurance. <laughs> At their age, we've got this 65-year-old male. Again, we're going to do a non-tobacco rating. If you do the tobacco, you'll find it's pretty scary stuff. And anyway, they decided they want to do uh, enough to cover their funeral expenses. Maybe they have a little bit more they want to have on the side for a survivor to pay off some other stuff. There we have a level, going to keep it level, although we could have opened this box up and we could have looked for a graded or a modified plan for the guaranteed issue. Let's leave it level today, and let's just hit get quotes. Okay, so, wonderful. Starting as low as $82.92 a month. Again, we're quoting a level final expense whole life product for $15,000.
this will have some underwriting. This will not require examination type of underwriting. Uh, this will require answering the questions on the application itself. So provided they can pass those questions. Most of these carriers today also require you to uh, do a phone interview with those clients, often right while you're with them making the sale. As is the case, most of the time Oxford is going to come in as the least expensive premium. Great company to line up with. Uh, they're a little bit tougher than some others as far as their contracting. So what I mean by that, if you've had some bad experiences, uh, perhaps you've had to file for a bankruptcy, uh, maybe you even had a vector labeled up against you uh, from another carrier, any of those type of things, um, you're probably not going to get a contract with Oxford is where I'm going with this. So, but if you got a pretty good clean sheet, I would recommend them to be one of the carriers for final expense that I would align myself with, again, for the level products. Again, you can see a surety is right in the game, so perhaps you've already got an assurity life uh, contract. You can go ahead and sell their final expense, and you'll see the whole list. So needless to say, you've got some great choices. You've got plenty of alternatives. And the different products. Okay, so I think what we'll do here is we're going to do something a little different. Um, Let's take this person out. Not going to happen often, but you run into a client that's 85 plus and they're looking for a final expense plan, you're going to find yourself very limited. So let's just take a shot out there. We got an 86 year old looking for $10,000. Wahoo, we got one. Got one carrier, Aetna's American Continental product, which will offer that plan to that 86 year old again, who's going to need to qualify based on the health questions to get this insurance, but you can cover them. Just out of interest. Okay, so I was interrupted, but I really think it couldn't download it because I think I went too far in that case. That's what I was trying to push the button. So let's say 27. Okay, so we took it right up there, as high as we could, to age 89. 90 was not possible. That's really why I got the error message. So again, American Continental, it's one company you can attach to for a final expense product up to a 90-year-old. Let's go ahead and change this date again, and let's go back to our 65-year-old, 66-year-old, 1950. Issues. So what we want to look at now is we're going to switch this over. Uh, we want to see if we can get a graded modified plan at $10,000 for the 65-year-old male. 
And there we go. So you got a whole bunch of them here. Going to have to drill down on each of the carriers and on the products to determine what they have available in that graded plan, modified plan. It's a two years and a three year. Uh, first year 10%, first year 5%. Anyway, how that debt claim would be paid in the early portions and the details on it. But as you can see, uh, just for numbers' sake, our lowest price product comes from Colorado Bankers. We're getting close to the top of the hour. Take a quick look here. Uh, Matthew wanted to know what would happen when I clipped on drop ticket. And I guess when I went back and finally did it, that kind of answered the question. So we don't have that question. Thank you for the question, Matthew. And again, thank you all for joining us this Wednesday morning. Uh, Mark Contra here, and I'll be signing off momentarily, but again, don't forget, if you're not already signed up tomorrow, if you want to get on that webinar in the morning, I think it's at 9 o'clock also, that'll take you through the tools on that ACA and on the over 65 that we didn't touch on today. Go ahead in there and play with this yourself. Uh, if you run into or stumble, don't, again, hesitate to call us here at Producer Services. We'll be more than pleased to go ahead and walk you through it, get your questions answered. Look forward to you joining us again next week. We've got our last life webinar actually of the year uh, going to allow us to continue to work with our agents who will be focused primarily on their over and under 65 business through the end of the year. So next week will be our, our last webinar. I hope you can hear the tears dropping on my keyboard as I speak. Uh, it'll be Charlene with North American. So again, thank you all. Have a great week and hopefully you'll be with us next week as well. Mark Contra signing off. <laughs>